The Democratic Republic of Congo is a country that has been wrecked by violent conflict and grave international crimes for many years. The vast majority of perpetrators and crimes have not been punished. Now, more than a year after a flagship trial concluded with a disappointing verdict, the MINOVA trial, we are trying to draw the lessons to see how future trials can be done better in Congo. In November 2012, the Congolese army soldiers engaged in a 10 days frenzy of violence, raising shops and shelters, pillaging hundreds of houses and raping at least 76 girls and women. Banashebo tunakimbilia kuchumba na watoto na baba nyumba. Tunafika mchumba banamkamata banamfunga mikono na migulu banamtupia chini ya kitanda. Kisha na mwana nitupia kitanda na lala pamana mie. Na mwingine mwalikuwa kule kusalo. Nana kamata vitu anavitupia inji. Kisha vitupia inji sakoshi tu mbili. Za saba lima zatu ni baka na njoba wakafika banatoka banaenda inji. Na baka wiva tu ili vitu. About a year after the events in Minova, a trial opened against 39 members of the army, 25 soldiers and 14 officers, all accused of war crimes and violations of military orders. In the end, only two rank-and-file soldiers were convicted of two individual rapes. The verdict was a huge disappointment to victims and victims' associations. <laughs> There were a number of positive elements in the MINOVA trial. The protection of victims and witnesses went fairly well. Le nom des victimes était codifié. Le juge a pris le, le, le soin d'utiliser les moyens acoustiques pour que chaque victime puisse témoigner en toute confidentialité. Over a thousand victims registered as civil parties in the trial and close to 75 participated in person. Notwithstanding this positive element, there were a lot of problems in the MINOVA case. First, the investigations were of poor quality. It was a mass crime scene, with thousands of victims and thousands of soldiers present in MINOVA during the crimes. A complex situation to investigate. The military investigators did not have the necessary expertise to build a case concerning such a mass crime scene. There were also issues with respect for the fair trial rights of the accused. A lot of people also said that the wrong accused were on the bench. Le problème de l'acquittement, c'est que l'officier du ministère public n'avait pas présenté les véritables coupables, les véritables officiers, les véritables commandants, ceux qui avaient le commandement effectif sous les troupes à Minova. Ceux qui étaient là n'ont été présentés que pour assouvir la soif de la communauté internationale qui avait besoin de la tenue d'un moindre procès. This kind of cases and crimes are very difficult to investigate for any justice system in the world. The Congolese government has proposed to create an internationalized justice mechanism within the justice system, meaning that international justice staff would work along national judges and prosecutors. This proposal has faced some political resistance, but we believe it would be a very important measure to strengthen the national capacity of the justice system to handle these cases. Pour le moment, dans les formats actuels où il y a la cour militaire qui a la compétence de juger les crimes graves, c'est difficile qu'elle soit indépendante. Mais je crois qu'il faudra qu'on renforce la, la justice congolaise par les chambres spécialisées mixtes pour pouvoir juger les crimes graves qui ont été commis en RDC. To increase the quality of investigation and prosecutions, we believe a specialized investigation cell should be created gathering investigators and prosecutors who would only focus on war crimes and crimes against humanity. Justice is a right for the victims of unspeakable crimes. We also believe that accountability is key in sending the message that such crimes will not be tolerated in the future. Trials such as the MINOVA trial do exactly the contrary. They send the message that the top guys are protected no matter what. It's urgent for Congo and Congo's partners to address the obstacles that hinder justice in Congo.